Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm home. My son is home with me. I changed my lipstick as you can see. Uh, I had to make this real quick video. I did go to Sephora today, right? And I know in the last video I was saying I wasn't sure about getting that Charlotte Tilbury quad, the newest one that's part of her Pillow Talk collection. God damn it. I got it. <laughs> so I got that. And I also got the Charlotte Tilbury um, glow highlighter that I did mention that I had my eyes on getting as well. This is the Dream Light, which is the darker, the deeper of the two highlighter palettes. So this is, um, let's do some swatches, okay? So this is the packaging for the highlighter. Multi Glow Dream Light. It has a 24-month shelf life, which is typical of Charlotte Tilbury pro products. On average, Charlotte Tilbury products shelf life is spans from 18 to about 24 months, something like that. So let's get started on some swatches. Let me put my wipe here. This is how it looks. Very nice. Take this off. So let's first start with this. This first shade here. And I also I actually have a timer on, guys. Just gonna blend it out because I am cooking dinner. So if this beeps, which it probably will as I'm recording this video, I'll pause the video because I have to check my meat. Uh with the next finger, I'll swatch this one. This goldish shimmer. And blend it out. I like that so far. I really do. My other finger, I'll swatch this. This pinkish one. And then the last one, which is this corner. I hope this is the one I haven't swatched. I can't even tell. Is this the, I don't, okay, let's see. I'm not sure, did I, was that the first one I swatched? I don't know, but just for the purpose of this, just to make sure, <laughs> I'm going to use my last finger, which is my thumb, and I'm going to swatch this one in the corner. Because I can't remember if I that was the first one I swatched or not. So these are very subtle. I really like in these. Some of these, I think, have shimmer in it. So the pink one here definitely has shimmer in it as you can see i don't know if you can see it so i have a slight cold sorry about that guys so the pink one has a slight shimmer to it and i think that's this one here okay the rest of them doesn't i mean it's it has a nice glow but it's not as shimmery as this pink one okay so let me wipe my fingers and um i'll be back let me just blow my nose have a cold I'll be back. So I'm back. So now let's get to the quad. I did swatch it in the store and I really like it. And it's not what I expected. And I just did not want to go based on different YouTube videos I saw because I just feel in my opinion, it's always good if you're able to see, see a product in person, swatch it just, and see how you feel about it. So actually, after swatching it in the stores, I was like, okay, I have to get this. So I'm going to swatch it on this hand. So let's start off with this first shade here. Oh yeah, this have a shelf life of 18 months. Let me show you guys the back. Pillow Talk Dreams. Shelf life, 18 months. So let's start off with this shimmer shade here. I think it's a shimmer. Oh, that's bright. Ooh, but I like it. That's nice. That's really nice. That could actually be used as a highlighter. <laughs> that could be used as a highlighter or just all over the eye color if you want. Next, I'm going to swatch this um, matte shade here. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. And this is just how it looks blended out. Let me put a little bit more. Let 
Next finger, I'm going to swatch this deeper shade here. Just blend it out a bit. And then the last is this beautiful shimmer glitter thing here. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty too. So these are the four colors from the quad. Dreams Talk. What is it called? Dreams? Or oh, is it Dreams Talk? Just Dreams. Pillow Talk Dreams. <laughs> so this seems like a nice palette just from the swatches. I like the fact that, especially on my deep dark skin tone, there's some mattes that add depth because in my opinion, and I'm going to be very frank, I was never, I never, I don't have any of the other products within the Pillow Talk line, even the, the other um, quads as part of the Pillow Talk collection. And um, I think she came out, what, was it her first large size, was it her first large size PM palette where it was also Pillow Talk? If so, I think, I know she has a Pillow Talk larger size PM palette that never gravitated to me. And I remember back then I used, I swatched in the store and it just never appealed to me. Is this something red in my hair? Hold on, guys. You know, I think that's from the lipstick, Lord. I don't even know why. I'm going to take it off. But that's when I was wearing um, red lipstick from earlier. It's on my lock. Ah, okay. Let's <laughs> just ignore that. But, um, yeah, so it never really appeared, uh, appealed to me. And, uh, so... I am glad she came out with a quad that has some depth to it. And um, there's a, distinct, a, a clear distinction between the two mattes. Because th sometimes on deep dark skin tones, certain deep colors, if, they're, if they appear, they can appear closely the same on our complexions or our skin tones. So I'm glad that she made it like this where in the swatches, it looks like, there will be a clear distinction between the two. And I'm hoping it appears that will in the eye, okay? So I'm looking forward to trying this. And just so you guys know, what I'm wearing on my lips is a combination of the Victoria Beckham Posh Gloss um, Lip Gloss. Posh Gloss Lip Gloss. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Posh Gloss Lip Gloss. And this is Ice Gloss. And it's paired with the Loyalist Lip Liner in the shade Burnished. Because like I said in another previous video, when it comes to these lip glosses by Victoria Beckham, especially since um, they don't, just ignore my son, he's why he's passing gas. He don't need it, he don't, whatever. So I don't know if you guys heard that, he passed gas. He's trying to tell me that. <laughs> anyway, so... Like I said in one of my previous videos, when I was reviewing the Victoria Beckham Posh Gloss in that shade Top Down, where I was trying to figure out how to get that model lips to look that brown color, and it then appeared that way on me. And I think I mentioned in that video that I could achieve that look with using a lip liner and a lip gloss, just like similar to this, where I use this lip liner with the lip gloss, and it has like a hint of color, you know what I mean? So... Anyway, so now this is my question for you guys. So for my next video, which I'm hoping to do tomorrow as I work from home, which video, what do you want my next video to be? Do you want it to be on doing an eye look with the Gemini, the repackaged Gemini 1 palette? Or do you want me to do a video where I'm doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury? And what I mean by that is wearing the Beautiful Skin Foundation, with the highlighter that I just bought and the eyeshadow. I don't uh I don't have blushes and does Charlotte Tilbury got blushes? I think she does, but I don't have it. <laughs> if she does, I don't have her blushes. So or do you want so do, which one do you guys would would you like for me to do in the next video? Do an eye look with the Gemini One B package palette or do a full face of Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury where I will be wearing the beautiful skin foundation of hers paired with this highlighter and the eyeshadow. Let me know. 
and um, I'll go based on that. If by chance I'm not able to record it tomorrow, uh, I'll try to do it sometime this week, but it's up to you guys. All right, guys, I gotta go check my meat in like two minutes and some change. I'm, I'm glad that this timer didn't go off actually. Just show you guys real quick. This is the shade of the highlighter. I swatched one of them twice because I wasn't, I couldn't remember which one. And this is from um, Dream Light. That's the name of the highlighter palette. And this is the Claude Pillow Talk Dreams. All right. So let me get going. I hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday. And have a beautiful day. Bye.